This is Conan Aldadis and this is my quick talk show where I get to quickly talk about the things that I love to talk about such as mixed martial arts. This is our third episode. I am still quarantined here in Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. Our guest for today is in the Netherlands, also quarantined because of the new coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic. He is also an MMA fighter currently signed with one championship but before that he won a contract with Bellator MMA the UFC was also interested in him but when one championship offered him a contract he immediately signed it before we quickly talk to him let me give you some more quick facts about him he is a big fan of Bruce Lee and Dragon Ball Z Champ Peter the Archangel Boust. What a cutie. He was born on March 1, 1988 in Breda, North Brabant, Netherlands. His mother is from Holland and his father is from Ghana. He was six years old when he started his training in Judo and he is a former World Fighting League lightweight champion. He is currently ranked number three after the reigning champion in the lightweight division of one championship he has been undefeated since 2017 he is still undefeated in one championship he already won three fights in one championship i kind of didn't notice him in his first win but after his second win i became an instant fan he is now one of my favorites definitely one of my favorites uh, we share the same dream which is to see him wear that one lightweight world championship belt so you understand why I'm calling him champ okay <laughs> he currently holds a professional MMA record of 15 wins and four losses so let's go straight ahead Hi, champ. Good morning, everyone. Peter Bust, the Archangel here. Just three quick questions. I'll go right ahead with the first one. Um, how are you handling um, this quarantine caused by the pandemic? And how did it affect you as an MMA fighter? Uh, quite a lot, to be honest. Because the gyms are closed. So everything what I do now is in private. So uh, I train only on one-on-one -on -one sessions, not with a big group anymore. And <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a little bit different. You, I can't fly, so uh, there are no fights planned for me yet. So uh, the first main thing that I'm waiting for is when can I fly because. I'm in shape and training every day, sometimes two times a day, and I'm I'm becoming better every day, so I'm eager to fight again. And yeah, yeah, the, the training is different than normal, and yeah, but we will manage. How do you assess um, how the government of the Netherlands is? handling the situation i think that holland is doing a good thing we have a, a semi lockdown so you can can only go outside when when it's truly necessary or if you want to have a you know a fresh air some some walking around but we have a social distancing uh, rule so uh, don't stand close together no big groups on the, on the streets and uh, in the shopping malls there are uh, rules for example only 20 people can enter the shop and then when uh, when it's your turn you can go inside and we have some uh, time schedules for the older people so that the older people can do the groceries so i think uh, our government is doing a good thing and uh, yeah there are some bad things, of course, like they want to check our 
bones where we at and who we hang with but those rules aren't in yet and I hope they they do they won't do it. But for for overall it's they going they doing a great job for the situation because this is a unusual situation. But I can go outside, I can run outside if I want to with no uh, problem, so it's okay, it's different, but for for this small uh, time, it's uh, doable. For you, Peter, um, what is the most important lesson that we can all learn from this? The most important lesson from this situation is try to enjoy and to appreciate the big, but also the small things in life. And trust me, appreciate your freedom because now you see if you don't have, if somebody takes away your freedom, you're just a slave of this world. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy that you can travel all around the world. Enjoy that you have food on your table. Enjoy that you have a roof above your head. Enjoy that your family is healthy. Enjoy that yourself is healthy. Enjoy that you can go out and eat a dinner in a city with your friends and family. Enjoy the shoes that you have, the clothes that you have, the, the, the that you can go outside, that the sun is shining, that, the, that we breathe fresh air. Enjoy all those things. That is the most important thing of this whole situation. This, 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 these kinds of situation makes you truly humble. For, for me, I, it's truly humbling because you know, I'm human too. I make mistakes also. And sometimes I, I take some things for granted. Like, you know, like my job that I have now. I'm a fighter. I take it. I, I'm always working hard for to become the best. But like going to other countries, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm going to other countries. And now I'm I think, oh man, I really should appreciate it even more than normally. So thank God for everything. I thank God for everything that we have, or for our health. And yeah, this is a humbling uh, situation. And enjoy the small things. Be happy for the small things. Enjoy the people around you. Because yeah, we, before this, everybody was going to his job, doing his thing. And then, you know, they don't even notice the, their siblings at home and now you, you are forced to stay at home with your whole family and now you see ah i'm truly blessed so it's a humbling situation of course uh the people who are dying it's, it's it's truly horrible but we should learn from this to appreciate our freedom don't give away our freedom that easily you know, we should fight even more for our freedom. We should fight even more for the things that we have. So I think the, the greatest lesson is, is to be humble and to enjoy and appreciate everything yeah. you got and don't have. All right, champ. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Always take care. And um, yeah, see you in person after this pandemic. And have a nice, awesome day. See you after you win that one lightweight world championship belt. And uh, again, always take care and thank you so much. Keep in touch. I hope you enjoyed this interview, everyone. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe and share stay tuned for episode four we will interview also one of my favorite mma fighters today my big brother all the way from argentina nahuel el roble gandolfi ciao